Meanwhile, the federal government is giving Halton Region nearly $4 million to help prevent crime. The money will go to organize community organizations that work with at-risk youth. Matt Ingram has details. It's an investment aimed at preventing gun crime in Halton. It's going to help save lives. Amid rising concern in the community about an increase in gun violence in the region. I asked people to tell me what their top concern was, and for the first time ever, public safety came back as the number one. Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino came to Oakville to announce nearly $4 million for Halton from the federal government's Building Safer Communities Fund. To prevent violence and to support young people. It makes sure that grassroots organizations have funding so that they can offer programming to youth to stop crime before it starts. Local organizations working with at-risk youth can apply to Halton Region who will be distributing the money. We already have about 20 partners that we've already had discussions almost for close to probably eight months, almost a year. Now we'll be able to say, here's the money. What would you like to see done? Milton MP Adam Vancouverden says kids need mentorship, support and activities to keep them on the straight and narrow, offering himself as an example. You can probably find some of my teachers that would tell you that I was um, a handful and I had lots of behavioral challenges uh, in elementary school. Um, but in grade eight, I found the canoe club and I met all these awesome people down there, and it really changed my life. Mendicino says stopping young people from entering a life of crime is one part of his government's multifaceted approach to gun crime, which he says begins with stopping illegal guns from being smuggled across the border, highlighting $450 million in funding for border services over the last two years. But the guns keep coming. I would say to you that we have made progress, that in the last two years alone that we have seized a record number of illegal guns at the border, and that is good. But, but I also think you're right to highlight um, that it is the tip of the iceberg. Here in Halton, police say the vast majority of recovered guns used in crimes are illegal weapons that can be traced back to the U.S. 85 to 90 percent of those are sourced to the United States. Halton Police Chief Stephen Tanner says crime is on the rise after a decline during the pandemic. We're also seeing, I would say, more shootings. He thinks border services needs even more support. I, I really strongly believe that the RCMP, as our national police service, has a role to play at the border. Mendicino says federal money has allowed border services to add new technology that makes detecting illegal guns easier and quicker. For CHCH News, I'm Matt Ingram in Halton.